How do we know the temperature of the sun? Surely we have never traveled to it to stick a thermometer on its surface. Instead, what we must rely on are remote observations of the light it emits. That the sun glows as white hot gives us the overall clue. We know that materials start glowing in visible light when they are heated up. Iron, for example, to the naked eye is a dull grayish black color. But when heated up, it first turns a dull red, then orange, then yellow, then white at higher temperatures. What I am describing is known as black body radiation. A black body is defined as one that absorbs the maximum amount of radiation. It is also the body that emits the most amount of radiation. The hotter the body is, the greater the thermal emission. For a detailed explanation, we are going to use the simulation from phet.colorado.edu which will explain the workings of right now. At the center of our display, you will see the power emitted as a function of wavelength. Longer wavelengths are to the right, and shorter wavelengths are to the left. You can check the graph values in detail get labels for the ranges of the electromagnetic spectrum and have the total power per unit area known as intensity calculated for you. You can vary the temperature of your black body using the slider on the right. If you wish to compare two spectra, you can capture and afterwards move the slider for comparison.
you can zoom in or out in which case take note of the change in scale on each axis at the top of the screen you will see the relative hue combinations of blue green and red and the overall visual combination of these as you change temperature notice that at lower temperatures red dominates and the overall hue will become redder whereas at higher temperatures blue dominates and the overall color of our star will be bluer you will of course notice that the total power output will increase dramatically with increased temperature and decrease rapidly with lower temperatures now observe the wavelength for maximum emission for the sun it is 0.5 micrometers as we lower the temperature observe that the wavelength of maximum emission shifts to longer wavelengths when we shift to higher temperatures and you can observe this better zooming out the wavelength of maximum emission will shift to shorter wavelengths please be aware that a body that emits most of its radiation in the ultraviolet is not invisible to us since it still emits quite substantial visible light at the same time for low temperature thermal emitters whose peak of maximum emission is in the infrared still emit quite a lot of visible light and hence will look red remember red stars are relatively low in temperature while blue stars are the really hot ones.